An acquaintance visited me recently and pointed to my belly that it was protruding slightly. Then he said, it is a sign that my wife was taking good care of me. First, it took some seconds to take that in because all the while it still felt so much like I was the teenager that I was years ago when suddenly now I'm an adult with responsibilities I have to carry out no matter what. You don't get young twice. It's the greatest lie to believe that you will pass through this route again or that you will remain here. And whether you like it or not, old age catches up with you eventually and what you do when you're young will often tell on you as you get older. It may seem cool to get away with certain habits in your 20s, but those habits grow on as you approach and go beyond your 30s. Most of us would have to live with the regret of certain things we didn't do in our prime, whether we like it or not. People say time heals, yes, but the scars of some mistakes may live with you for the rest of your life. So in today's video, I will be sharing with you some regrets most young people will run into in their adult lives if they are not carefully using their youthful season right now. 1. Not concentrating on fitness there are too many articles on the importance of fitness to fill in an encyclopedia. Yet, you will be shocked at the number of young people who just don't pay attention to fitness. I know a 39-year-old man who suddenly broke down one day and almost fell into a stroke because, for so many years, he had been living a sedentary life. He worked from home and so would sit for several hours each day, oftentimes into the night. He would take lots of salty and saucy food and enjoyed sweetened meals a lot. He could have died but for the fact that he was saved timely. Now, he has to manage his health carefully, having to rest several hours each day if he will not break down and die. Being young and vibrant in your 20s may trick you into believing that you don't need exercise and that you don't need to eat healthy. Don't wait till you hit the floor with some cardiovascular disease or something close before you start to take your health seriously. Your body needs to get used to the fact that exercise is a priority, so start sooner. 2. Not saving as much as you earn if you haven't been saving from what you earn, can we shake hands? Because I made the same mistake some years ago, and it cost me two years of serious poverty, lack, and begging. One of the ways you'll know you become rich in the future is how you manage money now. If you spend all you make buying everything you see, you're ruining your financial management habit and will certainly not know how to make more money. Frugality is not a poverty mindset. It means knowing that you don't need something your body wants and being willing to discipline yourself to spend nothing on it. Save more, save as you earn, because life's emergencies will not telephone you about their coming. They'll simply show up on your doorstep, uninvited. Also, you never know when an investment will come. You'll need that money you've put aside to take advantage of such an opportunity. If you learn to save now that you're young, it becomes easier as you grow older. 3. Playing too safe When I was little, my older brother of just 13 years old would go to houses in our neighborhood, knock on doors and ask who needs to have their shoes mended or shined. He would shine and mend shoes to make money. Afterward, his business grew and he set a rickety wooden table and a chair in front of our house. This time, neighbors would bring their shoes to him to mend and shine. As he grew, he started his own business and succeeded. Make calculated risk as a young person. The more mistakes you make, the better you learn from your mistakes. And if you're young, you won't have many regrets about making those mistakes. Rather, you'll have more wisdom with making them. Those who play it safe never succeed. Better to try and fail than never to try at all. Never allow the fear of failure to hold you back. Be open to taking calculated risk in your 20s. 4. Cultivating relationships that are doomed to fail Go with people who are going in the same direction as you. I once told you about a friend with whom I grew up a few years after high school. Close as we were, I cut off the relationship. The reason was simple. The young man was always interested in talking about girls. I wasn't. He lacked dreams and wasn't interested in pursuing them. I had dreams and was determined to pursue them. Surround yourself with people who are going in the same direction as you. Cultivate meaningful relationships that would help you to grow. And that would allow you to invest in your own growth as well. Nothing gets you back faster than the company you keep. 5. Not getting a taste of independence Although I love to travel a lot, the sad truth is that I never did travel as much as I would have wanted when I was much younger, without responsibilities. As much as you must avoid the things that destroy you, now is the time to have a taste of independence. You don't have to go out, but you should travel and see places. You should visit places you otherwise may never be able to visit later. Try adventures that would shape your life. Attend seminars that would build your life. Pay for events that would teach you how to become a better person. Just one encounter with Jim Ron during a paid seminar changed the life of millionaire entrepreneur Anthony Robbins at the age of 17 years. 6. Not connecting with family Don't make the mistake that family isn't important. 
Family is important. You don't have to live with your parents, but make sure you hook up with them every now and then. It heals them and also you. Spend some time with those you love and who love you deeply because the memories and bond you create at those moments will go a long way to save your life later. Life is unpredictable and later might never come. 7. Not investing in yourself. Take care of your health. Read books that will help you become. Attend seminars and workshops that will help you in your professional life. Take classes to pursue your favorite hobby. Engage in activities that interest you. It will help you understand yourself better. Learn new skills because the skills you acquire will be useful later in life. In summary, regrets shouldn't hold you back. They should help you to set your priorities right and make your life straight. You don't have to wait to figure out what regrets you will have in the future. Truthfully, regret is inevitable. What's most important is that you ensure you live your full life now, doing the best you can so you can step into the future, not having so many regrets packed in your plates. If this video inspired you, share the video with your friends. We love you.